All right, everybody, I'm Dave Cooper, and we are in Barking, England, and we are on the job site with British Offsite currently, and this is one of the panels from the factory, right? Absolutely. Talk us through what we have here. So what we have here is a uni panel, which is the external wall. This is completely finished this way in the factory. So the windows, the um, head shutter, so that permanent formwork that we pour the concrete into, the vapor control layers, dry lining both sides, um, insulation within the panel, insulation on the outside that would be within the cavity of the wall. Okay. We will also have a facade support system and all the fire stopping. I love this. You guys are going to love exactly what's going on. So let's walk through this one more time. So we are on a high rise project right here and, and from the factory on this project, right, this is already made to fit between the concrete columns, the structural columns on the building and we're going to show some of that. But with this, you not only have the windows, you know, and, and, the, and the cladding in place to put on the interior, you know, gypsum board or sheetrock, whatever you want to call it, but the insulation, the fireproofing, all the way to the exterior is done on this wall. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so the project we're on that right now is actually um, 1,100 private units. Yep. Um, and that ranges from seven to 29 stories. We've actually picked this project up quite late in the, in the, in the day. You know, it's yeah. all designed, it's all engineered. Um, so it's down to us to supply a product where we can pack as much as we can in that will go into a traditionally engineered building. Right. Um, so that's why it's important that it all works um, with a conventional RC frame reinforced concrete arrangement. Like I say, we stand up the columns first. Right. We have brackets that are pre-fitted in the factory and this effectively goes in between the columns. Yeah. Um, and then we'll put a, uh, a shuttering system in, which forms the, uh, the floor of the, the slab right. itself. And then we'll pour concrete in the top. So all of this work is all encapsulated, and then we pour the slab on top. Right. So just so everybody understands, I mean, this is a complete wall system built to fit exactly between those columns. And when this is set, right, it, it's kind of pressure fed. It, it, just, it just sits, you tie it into the columns, they have temporary bracing inside already that matches the elevation that they need for the ceiling of this floor, mm -hmm. where the concrete is going to then be poured and it's gonna be tied together monolithically with this structure because at the top, you called it something, it's like a trough. The concrete pours the into that trough yeah, yeah. and then it also ties into the, the columns and then this is 100% engineered into the structure. Yeah, it's all done. Once, well, by the time you pour that concrete slab on top, um, you'll actually have a building envelope which is airtight, it's watertight. They will actually air test the units um, prior to doing the final layer of decorative yep. dry lining. Yep. Um, so it's a very, very airtight product because um, we achieve all of the, the sealing in the factory. Um, and it just means that it's really comprehensively finished. Sure. Um, so by the time the concrete's poured, we can actually be in two floors below with internal trades and the brickwork will actually be two floors on the outside. When these are in place, not only that, it's watertight. Once that concrete floor is poured over top, the units below are watertight. You can be working on the 10th floor and people could be living in the first floor, accurate? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And that's the value of this system. If you look at traditional systems that are going up around here, and we're gonna show you some of that, it's open space all the way up, and then they start putting in the windows. So this is a huge reduce, a reduction of labor and time on site. Right, there's a big time savings. What are you guys estimating right now? So we're 20 to 25% time reduction for first handover. Right. So first spade in the ground, so the first keys to the, the occupier, about 25%. 25% and we're in a super, super busy city environment here. There is less traffic, there's less possibility for civilians, you know, being in the way. Trucks are coming and going, it's a, it's a construction site. Yeah, it is, you know, and it can be very, very busy, but where we've packed all of this, this in, in this right. aggregated um, system, we actually take five conventional trades. You know, you would have an SFS trade doing the metal, you'd have a dry liner, a window specialist, a fire stopping specialist, right. and actually some of the concrete frame. We consolidate that all into one product. Yep. Um, and normally we'll deliver three apartments worth on one trailer. So it's, it's, a, it's a really high density product. Doesn't take much space on site. Right. Um, and like you say, the amount of tradesmen you have, welfare, parking, CO2 emissions from cars, the, the whole, the whole, the whole sustainability thing. thing that's happening Absolutely, right now. Yeah, yeah. And, and this is already shipped. The, the glass is there. It's not broken. I mean, it's structurally sound, and I think that's super important. What's the R value on this? Um, so that will run a standard about 0.4 U value, but then we'll also tailor the insulation on the outside 
to the right. specific environment that it's been used in. Sure. Um, so quite often we end up, we work with a customer to do um, a calculation of um, the window thermal efficiency, the actual panel thermal efficiency, yep. and we'll tailor that together to make sure that we've got a really high performing building envelope. Got it. Now this is an exterior wall. This is an exterior wall. All right, wall. so let's walk over here and take a look at this interior wall on this side. So if you want to follow me over here. Um, so I got to jump in here. Like the cool <laughs> thing about this interior wall is not only does it have everything in place to capture the sheetrock, it has its sound insulation in place, right? We're in a multifamily building, so sound insulation's big. And you got MEP holes at the front here. Yeah, so I mean, this makes that, that MEP provision, it's very precise, it's all templated in the factory, right. it's all pre-cut, it really helps with fire safety, fire stopping, because you're, you're kind of inherently building in that quality. Likewise with the sound protection, um, here in the UK, the building regulations require a 46 decibel reduction, right. and we'll consistently hit over 52, just because you've got that really, really high quality factory controlled environment. Perfect. I, I love it. So you're not just doing the exterior cladding, you're using uni wall on the interior That's to right. help speed up the finish of the space and put that sound barrier between the units so you don't have tenants complaining they can hear their neighbor. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that's one of the you know, kind of inherent quality control failure points that we'd have in traditional construction is that you'd be trying to build all this compartmentalization. Right. Guys want to load materials out through it. They leave openings. And then inevitably you have to go and make it good afterwards. Right. Did they achieve the right workmanship? And this just means that it's all dealt with in advance, yep. factory controlled environment. Um, and you know, it, it just reduces those on-site reworks. I love it. And behind us are the lifting rigs, just so everybody knows. This is what they're using for their picks. As it we is, call it yeah. the frame world. Yeah, so you know, again, it's just try and keep the whole system as simple as possible. Um, you know, they're fairly standard lifting beams. They, yeah. are, they, they work really well on site. They have to be certified every six months. Um, but this is actually part of the, uh, the service and package that you would buy from British Offsite. Yeah. You would buy panel, you would buy wall. We would give you the uh, correct lifting equipment. That's FOC normally with the contracts. Um, and we'll actually guarantee that air and sound tightness. I love it. So why don't we go up a few floors, check out how the panels are being installed and then show what the panels look like once they're installed and the modular concrete floor system, because Absolutely. I think this is a big part of what ties all of this system together. Yeah. It's just not the walls, it's a whole system. And that's what makes this different. So let's go inside. All right, so now we are on the seventh floor or eighth seventh floor? floor? Seventh, seventh floor. floor. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the panels here. So the panels we were looking at downstairs, right? This is the uni wall panel, the internal wall panel that's system, yep. right? Which gives us the best view where we're at right now. Walk us through what we're looking at here. So here we're up on the seventh floor and we've got the slab prepared. They'll have installed the precast columns ahead of time. Um, an engineer will come and they'll check the structural opening. They'll check the floor for flatness. And then it's as simple as we lift up the panel with those beams that we saw downstairs from the, uh, the lifting eyes. You see the single use drops and they'll just lower that in place between the columns yep. um, fasten it in place. They'll do the final um, final fix on the foam to make sure the air and sound test is correct. Right. Um, and then that's ready for the concrete decking to go in and pour the slab on top. Yeah, that so. And, and that was the column that was already there in place. These just slide in. You have a couple millimeter gap, right, for give and take for that to slide in. Yep. Uh, and then you fill it with your fire caulking or fire co uh, silicone or whatever that's it is it. that goes that's there, it. right? All right, at the very top, we have that, that flange, right? That's part of the trough system. We're going to show how this works and ties in in a minute, but that's to help with the concrete for the yeah, tie in yeah. for the top bolts. Cause the bolts stay on this as part the, of the, the system. The, bolt, the bolts stay on. That's part of what retains the panel within right. the slab once it's poured. But that flange is really important because that gives the frame contractor, the concrete frame contractor, something to work to. So right. it makes it easy for the, the shuttering gangs on site and the concrete gangs on site uh, to come and be precise. Yeah. Effectively we're building precision into the concrete through the panel. That's right. And again, we're up here pretty high. This means people are on the outside of the building and scaffolding, trying to hoist windows and all the little bit of movements that have to happen. This went from the manufacturing facility to the job site, picked by a crane, put in place. It's like magic. Yeah. Yeah. It is so, like magic. You know, we, we'll, we'll get up to three apartments worth on a trailer. Um, it will normally take, I think our best lift time is about six minutes yeah. from the back of the trailer, actually into the opening. We average about 15. So you'll get through an apartment's worth you know, 
two hours maybe. Two hours, Completely yeah. done, completely compartmentalized, internal walls, external walls, ready for the concrete showering. And there's 1,100 apartments in this whole complex that they are building. So, all right, let's go inside and check out the floor system so we can explain it. And then we're gonna go up top so you can see the top down. And it's gonna tie together this whole system so you out there really understand how this is working. Sure. Cool, Brilliant. let's go. Okay, now we're on the inside. You can see that we have the uni wall here. We have uni panels on this side, you know, with the exterior doors to the patios and the windows there. Uh, but what are we looking at with all this structure in here? This is all temporary. This is all temporary. So what we've actually got here is um, the, the formwork, the decking system, and they'll, pu they'll pour the concrete slab for the floor above on top of us. Yeah. This is an important part of the system because we've created that, that permanent formwork on the head of the uni panel. Yeah. And likewise, we have the flange on the head of the uni wall. And this effectively ties it all together and creates that trough that the concrete's poured into. Yeah. So once we've got this decking system in place, it's just a conventional process of concrete reinforcing bar, and then they'll just fill it up with concrete, poke it, um, flatten it all off, and it's good to go effectively. So, all right. So this is holding up the, the floor above and the ceiling for this. So everybody understands, this whole system here with this ratchet and bracket, the concrete's going to be poured right on top of this and it's going to flow to the top of these walls where there's kind of a trough that catches it. And that's what ties this entire system together because the through bolts, the, the, the pick bolts all get tied into that. Yeah. The rebar on the, uh, on the columns get tied into that. And then this sits for how many days before you're, you have to take it down? It depends on the time of year, but right now in the middle of summer, 14 days in the, in the depth of winter, maybe 28 days. Um, but that was actually one of the reasons we moved to this modular yeah. decking system. Because once all of this walling is in, conventionally, uh, a frame contractor would have an entire slab to work on. Yep. So actually, full six meter length lumens and ply is hard to get out of an apartment, especially down a corridor. Yeah, sure. So we moved to this modular decking system. And once this is all cured, they can really quickly come in, knock the ratchets out, yeah. take all the decks out, put them on nice trolleys and they wheel them right out. Right to the next part of the Real project. Right, That's right. right to the next part of the project. Yeah. And remember everybody, this is ready to go. I mean, you just need to run your uh, electrical, mechanicals, all from above because there's, there's space between floors and it all runs straight down, tie it in, close it in. That's it. That's it, yeah. Just one layer of decorative plasterboard and we're good to go. Um, there's actually no more fire stopping to be done in here um, other than where the MEP comes yeah. into the units. Um, and they will actually uh, air test this mm -hmm. in this state. This is how we'll air test it. Because it's all, fire, um, all uh, you know, factory controlled, vapor control layer. Um, so that's the, the film which is creating yeah. the air seal. Right. It's all done in the factory. Um, and actually it's so good, we don't have to wait for the final plasterboard. They can air test it like this. That's the accuracy of offsite construction, right? Controlled, controlled methods, the, the accuracy saves you a lot of time and effort fixing air gaps, fixing wow. all the things that traditionally you're gonna to have to do on site when things aren't done exactly the way they need to be done. All right, so this is all gonna get removed. Concrete's gonna be on top. Can we go up above and actually show what this looks like from above so people can see how this ties into the wall? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. All right, let's go. Appreciate it. All right, we are now on top of the floor we were below earlier, Sean. Yep. Uh, we're standing on the structure that we were talking about that actually the concrete's gonna be poured on top of, correct? That's correct, that is correct. Yeah, so you can see those, those modules that we described right. downstairs. Um, they all click together and form this complete deck and this will actually be the, the concrete will go straight onto this, there's nothing else, go straight into here. So, and, and this is temporary, so it pours onto here. Then, let's take a step back. These are the troughs that I was talking about. You had a different name for them here, but... The head shutter. The head shot? Head shutter. Head shutter. It's shuttering at the head. It's a shuttering at the head. Yeah. So, but basically, that concrete's gonna pour right into here. You'll remove these straps, obviously. But then you have the bolts, the pick bolts, and that ties this all together along with the structures that are already here. That's correct, that's right, actually, yeah. So, like I say, temporary use strap. Yeah. Um, the eye bolt stays um, and that, where that's cast in, that helps retain the panel. Um, and effectively, um, earlier on, I mentioned that we, we build um, dimensional accuracy into the concrete right. through the panel system. It's really easy. They just fill this up to the top. They just fill, fill it up, it up to, to the, the top. top. 
and that's it. Concrete floor then cures for how many days it needs based on the time of the year. Yep. And then this whole floor system drops out. All drops out. Now you got your ceiling and you got your floor. All drops out. That's great. And, and, and that's how it all ties together from the factory, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's important for us to, to be able to respond to the needs of the building. Yeah. Um, you know, we have a standard head shutter. It's designed so you can thicken and, and thin the slab right. um, depending where you bring the shuttering into the back of it. And it just makes it really easy for the frame contractor to work with. Got it. So that ties the whole system together, which we were just showing from the factory to this point. So once that concrete's in, and again, once it comes into the shutter here, right, the system, it locks it all in. This floor drops out. Everything below, it's watertight. And you got an airtight barrier around the entire wall system. That's right. That's right. And you'll also notice the scaffold is actually level with this floor. Yep. And like I say, when you, when you do a traditional shuttering system, that scaffold would actually be four floors down, um, which allows us to be, it's safe. There's no risk of a, a leading edge to fall over. And the brick layer can literally be right on us on the floor or two below. Working, working while, while you're doing the floors above. Right there, yep. Man, I love it. So Sean, what are we looking at for this particular building? When do you top out? So right now we're in, uh, what are we? Um, block C2. So this is uh, eight floors. And then we've got B3 North and yep. South. Um, we then have um, B North and B1, sorry, B1 North and B1 South behind us. Yep. Um, so these go to 22 stories. And then right over the back behind the big crane, uh, that's block A1, that's our 29 story tower. The 29 story tower. The 29 so, story tower. I mean, once again, and we're gonna catch some shot of the other buildings going up that are not Weston and not British offsite. And we're gonna show you how far advanced and how quick, I guess, heads on beds. You're gonna get the heads on beds much quicker than a lot of these other folks that are doing the same type of build without a wall panel and floor system. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and now that really works for the main contractor, the developer. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you're, you're putting your money in, you need it out as fast as possible. You know, we wanna deliver occupiable properties faster. That's what right. we're here for at the end of the day. There you have it, everybody. I'm Dave Cooper. We're with Sean Weston, British Offsite. This has been amazing. I love the system. We are in Barking, England, and we're going to show you the finished project hopefully not too long from now. So stay tuned. Thanks. Brilliant. Thanks. Appreciate Dave. it.